Hi gamers, mums and dads, welcome to Criddler Gaming. Instead of gaming on Fortnite today, we are going to be playing with fractions. Now people look at fractions and they think, oh my god, these are terrible, I just don't understand. But if you're asked to add two fractions, watch this video, you'll get the right answer every time. Oh, and subtract as well, take away, but then two. So here are our two fractions. Three sevenths plus two fifths. Now if you think this is impossible, I'm going to teach you a method that will work every time for adding two fractions, any fractions at all. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to write this out slightly differently underneath. So I'll put the plus and the equals underneath. We're going to take this number here, number seven, and we're just going to write this two divided by five out slightly different. So we're going to take this seven and we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by this number seven. So 2 times 7 at the top is 14, and at the bottom, 7 times 5 is 35. So just to go over it again, 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 5 is 35. Now we're going to rewrite this one here, and we are going to multiply it by this number here. So 3 times 5 is 15, and underneath, 5 times 7, just like 7 times 5, is 35. Now here's the magic. When you've got the same number at the bottom, when you're adding fractions, you can do a magic line and write 35 at the bottom. Now that is a trick and you have to remember that. You leave the top the same, 15 plus 14 equals, now we leave, you're going to get to the answer in one more step. So you add up 15 and 14, if you want to do it longhand you can do it like this, 5 and 4 is 9, 1 and 1 is 2, so 29 on the top, and we leave the bottom the same, 35. Now that is your answer. Simple as that. Right, we'll do a second one. So let us do 5 over 8, just making these up as we go along, um, over 1 over 3. So again, we're going to put the plus and the equals, copy them down, exactly the same. Going to take this number here. And we're going to multiply it at the top over here. So 8 times 1 is 8. And at the bottom, 8 times 3 is 24. Now we're going to take this 3 here. And we're going to multiply at the top here. 3 times 5 is 15. And 3 times 8 is 24. Now you should always have the bottom numbers the same at this step. If you haven't, then you need to start again. So again, we've got the 2 same at the bottom. So a big line, 24, and at the top we keep it the same, 15 plus 8. The 8 add 15 equals 23, and we leave the bottom as 24. So there's your answer. So just going over it again, we take this number here and times the top and the bottom. I'll add these in now so you can see exactly what we're doing. You wouldn't really want to do this in the maths because it's showing you showing away your trick, but 1 times 8 is 8, 3 times 8 is 24, and then this 3 here, times 3 times 3, 5 times 3 is 15, 8 times 3 is 24. They're both the same on the bottom, so that's great for fractions. When you're adding fractions, the bottom are the same. You can do a massive line there and put 24 underneath. Leave the tops the same, 15 add 8 is 23, and the bottom is 24. So there you go, that is how you add fractions. So now, if we're doing a subtract or take away here, you're given this question. That's exactly the same process. Make sure the two numbers at the bottom are the same, but instead of add here, it'll be a minus. So ignore that for now. 15 minus 14 equals 1, and the bottom is 35. So going over onto the other one that we did. If this is, we'll do it completely this time, 5 over 8 minus 1 over 3 equals, so copy the sign down, copy the equals down. We're going to do 8 over there, so 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24, and this one here we're taking the 3, 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 8 is 24. Now adding and subtracting fractions, at the bottom is the same, you can do the nice magic line, 24 underneath, 15 take away 8 is 7, so this is your answer. Anyone you want to come up with, this method will work perfectly. 
There are some drawbacks and we'll go into them later in the video, but if you just need to learn how to add and subtract fractions and get to an answer, follow this method and you cannot go wrong. So here are three sums of fractions, why don't you give them a go? Pause the video for a few minutes, come back and see if we get the same answer. We'll repeat the same method three times and then we'll get to the end of part one of this video. So here we go, multiply this one by 3, 3 over 18, multiply this one by the 6, we've got 12 over 18, 18 at the bottom, 12 plus 3 equals 15 over 18. That is a perfectly good answer unless the question says the simplest form, we'll come onto that in the next part of the video. A quarter plus 3 sevenths, so again 4, 4 over here is 12, 4 times 7 is 28, do the 7 now, 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 4 is 28, so again, it's just this times that, this times that, this times that, this times that, to get this new sum. Now, we have the same number on the bottom, 28, 7 add 12 is 19 over 28. Best answer you can come up with? Finally, we'll do this one here, taking this 5 over here, 5 over there. So again, I'm just going to write the sum out again. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 7 is 35. So now we're going to take the 7 over here. So 2 times 7 is 14. 5 times 7 is 35. Same at the bottom, if you're adding or subtracting fractions, you can do this magic trick. It's allowed. 14 add 5 on the top equals 19 over 35. Perfect answer. Part 2 of the video will be on something you hate to do. Tidy up. Right, now no one likes this phrase, tidy up. Unfortunately, if you ever see the word simplify in fractions, then unfortunately that's what you have to do with your answer. Now all of the answers we've got so far are perfect apart from one, which was 15 over 18. Now that's a perfectly good answer if you just ask to add up fractions, but if it says show your answer in the simplest form, we have to do some work on that. Now a tiny bit of explanation on how this works is that fractions, like a half, is the same as 2 over 4, is the same as 3 over 6. That is 1 times 2 on the top, 2 times 2 at the bottom. Now with fractions, as lo if you do anything you like on the top, as long as you do it on the bottom, you will have the same answer. So that is why fractions are so cool. So for example, a half, if we times the top by 3, make this a bit longer, as long as we times the bottom by 3, we have got the same fraction. 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. Now people like a half a lot more than they like 3 sixths, but really they are exactly the same thing. It's just that this is referred to as the simplest form of this one. Now if you really don't understand fractions and you put 15 over 18 as your answer, you will get a lot of thumbs up. You've got there. The only problem is that 15 over 18 can be written a little bit better. Now before we go any further, if this just looks like nonsense, think of it as pizzas. Let's have a pizza that has got two slices, top and bottom, and you're going to have one of them. Now let's imagine a pizza with four slices, same size, and you're going to have two of them. That's the same. Turn it around a little bit. This is now six slices, and you're going to have three of them. So again, half a big pizza, half a big pizza, half a big pizza. They are exactly the same. And this is the fractions, the top saying how many you're going to eat, and the bottom saying how many pieces all together. And that is a bit how fractions work. 
So tidy up and simplest form are pretty much the same thing when it comes to fractions. So what I'm going to show you now is how to write 4 over 8 in its simplest form. Now, as we said before, as long as you do whatever you do to the top, as long as you do it to the bottom, you're going to have the same answer. That is the trick. So do something here, whatever it is, as you must do it there as well. That's the only thing to remember here. And now you need your skills to work out what the squiggle is. So the first thing to always check is, are both top and bottom even? Now if they're even numbers, and as you know even is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and so on. Now if they're both even, we can do a little trick. We can divide the top one by 2. So it's 2 times 2. And we can divide the bottom by 2, which is 4 times 2. Now our squiggle here is the times 2. So we've done them both on the top and on the bottom. So I can squiggle there and squiggle there. And we now have 2 divided by 4. Now we can go a little bit further. That apparently is a better answer to that. But again, 2 is even. 4 is even, so we can do it again. So 2 at the top is 1 times 2, and 4 at the bottom is 2 times 2. Now, we've done at the top and the bottom the same, so again we've got our squiggle. So we now have 1 over 2. Let's just write it a little bit neater. We have a half. So 4 over 8 equals a half, and if we go to a pizza again, let's try and get 8 slices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and we eat 4 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can see, that is half our pizza. So what about 15 over 18? Now only the bottom, let's carry on, 14, 16, 18, is even. So we cannot do our trick here because the top is not even there is no 15 here so we cannot do the squiggle because it would be different so what we have to do instead instead of looking at even numbers which is the two times table we look at the three times table if you don't know it it's definitely worth learning at least up until times three times ten so if we write out the three times table three times one is three three times two is six three times three is nine 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 7 is 21, 3 times 8 is 24, 3 times 9 equals 27. And that's really as far as we need to go for fractions. Now you can see 15 is here and 18 is here. So now we can rewrite this as 5 times 3. Don't forget in times, 3 times 5 is the same as 5 times 3. Anything times in, if you're doing it one side, you can switch it around. So 3 times 5 equals 5 times 3. If you don't believe me, try it with any two times. Is So 15 is three to 5 times 3. And 18 is 3 times 6, or 6 times 3. We have a different squiggle, but it's still a squiggle times 3. It's on the top and it's on the bottom, so we can squiggle it. So 15 over 8 equals 5 over 6. Now that is a better answer to our sum than before, if it says simplest form. Now if times 2 doesn't work and times 3 doesn't work, you could do times 4, but if you've already tried times 2, then times 4 won't work. The next one is times 5. And you don't really need to write out times 5, you can just look at the number. If the last number ends in a 0 or a 5, and it happens on top and bottom, you know there's a trick in times 5. There's also a trick in times 3. So if you try times 2, and you try times 3, and you try times 5, the next one to do is try times 7. Eventually you're going to get stuck if you don't understand, but if you try these ones here, you can write out the times tables like we've done for the three, so you can write out the times table. For the five, you can just look at the number if it has, say, 15 over 20, so that's three over four. There's no point checking six, because if you check two and you've checked three, then six won't work. Check five by the number, check seven, um, 
And then if that doesn't work, you can always do check 10. Now 10 is the easiest one, so you might have, I'm running out of paper here, 70 over 80, that's 10 and that's 10, because you can cross the noughts off if it times by 10, and that is your answer. So that's one way to get the simplest form to any fraction.